Hey everyone, I'm Ha Jun Yoon. I'm a developer relations engineer at Acryl Data. I'm really excited to introduce getting started with Data Hub APIs today. So Data Hub API is a programmatic way to manipulate metadata on Data Hub. So while using Data Hub, Data Hub, you may wonder, okay, now I know how to create, add, or edit tax terms, all the entities in UI. But for example, I want to create 100 entities at once, or I want to add tags on data set that meet certain conditions. How do I do it? How do I do it programmatically? That's where our API comes in. So it allows to um, manipulate metadata with great flexibility and scalability. So we offer several APIs for example, we have GraphQL, Python SDK, Java SDK, RESTly, OpenAPI, and each API has a little bit um, different format and usage. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have much um, a integrated form of use case oriented guide so far, but I'm really thrilled to announce our new collection of use case oriented guides here. So if you go to docs, a data of API and which data hub is for me, you can see the brief explanations of each API. And I really personally love this. We have this new data hub API comparison. So here you can easily understand which API is capable of which feature and you can directly navigate to the corresponding guide. So for example, um, regarding creating a data set, GraphQL cannot do it. Python SDK and OpenAPI, Open you can do it. But And we have a guide for Python SDK. So you can see the actual code snippet that is needed to create a um, data set um, using Python SDK. Okay. So, and we have this, uh, little collections of our use cases so far, but we're still still filling this table out and we're really, really welcome any feedback or suggestions or requests here. So if you think any of the use cases is missing, just ping me, um, we hear you. So <laughs> yeah. And I just want to run through a quick demo of how to follow um, one of these guides from scratch. So I just chose creating terms with GraphQL and Python SDK. So there's this little prerequisites um, that you need for um, this guide. You just need to deploy Data Hub Quickstart and ingest sample data. It just needs a couple of shell commands. It's really simple. I already um, deployed it local. So I'll just start here. So you have two methods of experimenting with GraphQL. One is GraphQL Explorer, which is the simplest and fastest way, and curl. So regarding GraphQL Explorer, you can just visit this certain um, API endpoint. So it's just you can experiment all of the GraphQL queries and you can also see the docs here. So let's copy just this query and run it. So it will return you a um, URN of a created glossary term. So um, let's just see how this actually worked. So if you go to the glossary, you can like for example, you can visit govern and glossary, and you can see the rate of return glossary terms here with the same description we specify in the query. Okay, so that was GraphQL Explorer, and with curl, you can just um copy this method and run um it via any shell type. So let's just make sure we don't create the same term with the same name here. So I'll just fix this to rate of return and it will um, give you the same response with the 
arms you are in. So let's just refresh. And you can see rate of return to is has been created here. Okay. So next thing is Python SK. So we're using metadata change proposal wrapper here. It's more like a low level approach that gives you more flexibility, but it's more, it requires more um, understanding, I think. Yeah. So let's just create a file um, called create term Python SDK and just copy this code. And let's just make sure that we don't create the same with the same record. So I'll just fix it and then just run this file. So it just gives you the log of terms you are in. Yeah. And if you click refresh here, you can see um, the term has been created. So it's really simple. I think it's quite intuitive to follow this guide from scratch. And I really hope that these collections of our new API guide will help you utilizing Data Hub. So we welcome any feedbacks and thank you for um, listening my presentation.